All right, what's up guys? It's your boy Drenlin, and today it's finally happening. So we have one PSA slab here, and then we have 19 in here. I would have put the one in here, but unfortunately there just wasn't enough space. It can take 19 cards and that's its limit. Um, but first of all, I just wanna say thank you uh, to Trident Cards for sending off all of my cards. Um, there are still 20 to return, so there will be another PSA return video in the future, probably in around two more months or something daft like that. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you very much Trident for the send off and obviously retrieving the cards, having them insured, etc. So thank you for that. But anyway, so I'm gonna stack up these PSA slabs um, I might skip the whole thing, as in like taking all the slabs out of the box, but yeah, just depending on how awkward it is. But hopefully, see you guys in a minute. All right, and we're back. As you can see here to my left, we have the stack of PSA slabs that we took out of the, the little box from earlier. So let's begin with our first. I won't lie, I have no idea um exactly what order of these have come back in um but i know i did send off a few from magnificent mavens a few from tinnaferry guards um I've crystal revenge i think and then uh what was the other one something else oh um 25th legendary collection so yeah could be many a cause to be fair but yeah, let's uh let's begin. So bottom right corner, I can't lie, not too bad. Bottom left corner, let's get a little bit of a closer look there. Top right corner, there's a little bit dingy over here. Um but honestly not too bad. And then on the left here, tiny little bit, but it's looking pretty good. So, let's find out what we have here. I'm going to try and do this any way possible. Oh, okay. So, we have a right leg of the Forbidden One. Okay, so this is quite a valuable card if it is a PSA 10. And, yeah, it's, it's a bag. I can't lie. It's not a bag, but pretty close to one. So, yeah, just going to... Check the corners down here. It's not so easy to do with Starlight Rares. Um, but yes, this is from Crystal Revenge, um, I believe. So, bottom corner is looking pretty good. Top corner is looking pretty good. Centering actually isn't too bad, to be fairly honest. I'd say it's a bit more onto the right than it is the left. But yeah, looking pretty good. So let's check our grade. So first card, and we've got a. Oh no way, Gem Mint Ten. Oh my god. Okay, so last time I checked, we got about. I, th I think this card is currently going for about 700 and something dollars, I believe, in a Gem Mint 10, which we have here. Um, I'll upload some pricings and stuff like that to the video at some point. Obviously, I'm doing the recording now, so I'll update the pricing and stuff like that for the grades we get today. Okay, so Gem Mint 10, we can go over here. Let's start our power here. Okay. Next card. Okay, so I'm presuming these um, are the cards that I already had put away along with another card. Um, but that's at the bottom of the pile. So I'm presuming this one's either going to be Guarding Chimera or Scapegoat. Now, both of those are Collector Rares. So it is... Oh, there's a little bit of scuffing up here in the top left corner. Not too bad, but it definitely could be better. 
Bottom left and right corner, actually not so bad. Okay, oh, mind me, just hitting the camera, it looks like there's a bit of a white ding on the back, it's either or it's on the case a little bit, I'm not too sure. But let's go ahead and turn this around. I'm not the best at doing this, but hey ho. Okay, so here we are. We have a Guardian Chimera. So let's take a look here. So bottom right corner looking pretty clean. Bottom left looking pretty clean. Top left not the best, but almost okay to be fairly honest. And top right looks pretty damn good. Okay, so surfacing honestly this is looking clean as hell um this is pack fresh as well and to get this in a psa 10 that would be brilliant but yeah this is collector's rare guardian camera um and i do believe yes it was from uh, maze of memories so let's go ahead and reveal okay so what do we get here and we got a Oh my god, two gem mint tens, are you kidding? Are you oh my god, okay, wow. Okay, so as far as I know, honestly, this is probably going for around 400 to 500 the last time I looked. Um, but again, it could have decreased in price, if I'm completely honest. So I'm actually not too sure, but that is one nice. And this is one, that one hell of a way to start the video, so... There you go, but yeah, Guardian Chimera, very nice indeed. Okay, that's in the 10 pile as well, so two 10s so far to start us off. Okay, so with any luck, I believe this is going to be our collected rare scapegoat. So let's just have a look at the corners here. Okay, a little bit of something going off down there in the bottom left corner. Bottom corner looking pretty sharp, pretty nice. I don't think it's the best up there, but it's actually not looking too bad. Um, surfacing wise, I mean, it could be just the case, or I'm not too sure if I'm completely honest. It could be the back of the card, it might be some scuffing perhaps. Um, but yeah, I feel like it'd be more the case. So yeah, this should be scapegoat, I believe. Oh, okay, so people know, uh, <laughs> okay, so basically at Trident, um, they send quite a few cards off, um, and obviously with them having to send off like loads of cards off, it might not just be the Trident themselves, it won't just be me either, um, but yeah, it will be plenty of people, so if you didn't already know my name, there you go, but yeah, this looks to be our scapegoat, so... And it's looking fine as hell. Um, now this one personally, I actually wanted just to keep as a nostalgia kind of thing, if I'm completely honest. Um, because this card actually doesn't cost a lot, even in um, graded. I think this card goes for about $19, I believe. Um, but honestly, I just did it for nostalgia reasons. And by God, it still looks beautiful. Um... So if I look at the corners, bottom right, clean, bottom left, looking pretty clean if I'm completely honest. Centering looks on point if I'm completely honest. This was packed fresh as well. Um, coming out of Tactical Masters, I believe it was. Yeah, Tactical Masters. And what do we get? Please be a 10. Oh my god. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Three tens. Mate, what is this? Three whole ten. Oh my god. You know what? I don't even care if the rest do bad. This is actually wild. So, three tens to start the video off. And we've only just begun. Wow. Okay. So... We still have another 17 cards to go. Now, these look to be wrapped up in the little um, sleeve things, like penny sleeves, but for the PSA slabs. 
Uh, I can't remember what they're exactly called, but let's go have a look. Okay, so bottom right corner not looking so bad. Bottom left not too bad either. Top right not so bad. You've got a little ding in the top left here. And surfacing, honestly. Obviously because it's in the sleeve as well, it's a bit more difficult to tell since it's actually under the sleeve where we would need to actually see um, everything. But Okay, let's go and swap this around. Oh, okay. Now this... I know, like, I know this is going to sound so stupid, to be fairly honest. But a lot of these cards I did just because they're quite popular cards. So as you can see here, we have a Forbidden Droppler. And again, which I did mention earlier, we would have some stuff from the Tin of Pharaoh Gods. Or it might have been one I didn't mention. I can't remember. Either way. Um, this is a card that honestly I just really like the look of. Um, and I know it's still quite popular. I thought I'd use that to my advantage if I'm completely honest. Not as a, like a, a selling point, I guess. But it also just looks really, really good if I'm completely honest. So let's go have a look at these corners here on the front side of the card. Okay. Top side, not actually looking too bad. Definitely not better down at the bottom right, for sure. Uh, well, at the bottom side, sorry. Edges, you can't really tell because obviously they're kind of hidden with these little boxing things, if that makes sense. I don't know what to call it. Um, but yeah, we have Forbidden Droplet from Tin of Fairy Gods. And we got a... Ooh, okay, a Gem Mint 10. Nice. Now, this is actually all that valuable for a card. I think you can sell this for about $100, maybe just over something, stuff like that. But again, some of these cards are just so nice, and I feel like, why not, you know? So there we go, Forbidden Droplet, Secret Rare. Um, from Tinnitha Fairy Gods. Okay, so, we've got a 10 there. All right, and we're back. Okay, sorry about that. I just have a uh, family keep coming downstairs and I can hear the volume, which I don't want you guys hearing music in the background because it could also affect me for copyright issues. But yeah, okay. So we've got four PSA 10s right now um, and this is our fifth one moving on to. So yeah, okay. So bottom left, bottom right, not too bad. A little of a ding up here in the top right. Not too bad, if I'm completely honest. I'd probably say this is one of the best ones we've got so far, if I'm completely honest. That's surfacing. So you can never really tell once you've got these sleeves on. It would have been better to take them out, but I thought I'd keep them in to keep them clean. Um, thank you, Trident, again, of course. But yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh, Flip this over, see what we have. Ooh, okay. So again, a bit like Forbidden Droplet. This is from Tin of the Pharaoh Gods. And yeah, I just think Ash Blossom is a really nice card, if I'm completely honest. Um, just nice. Again, it's not just because it's popular, it's because it actually looks nice as well. So yeah, Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. Let's go take a look here. Okay, top left corner, top right. Bottom right, bottom uh, left. Centering, honestly, not bad. If I'm completely honest. Okay, again, surface, you can't really tell because it's in the sleeve and also in the case. But, yeah, okay, so what do we have? Ash Blossom, let's go. Oh my god, Gem Mint 10, nice. Oh my god, does it stop? Okay, so that's five PSA 10s we have here, and I, I can't complain. I can't lie, I cannot complain. We haven't even started a second pile yet, they've all been 10s. This is brilliant. Okay, so I'm guessing some of these cards are still going to be from Tinnafero Gods. I could be wrong. 
but this is what I'm guessing at least anyway. So bottom right, bottom left looking pretty clean. Top right, top left. Top right has got a little bit of edging going around there by the looks of things. And top left looks, looks actually pretty clean. Um, surfacing again actually looks pretty nice if I'm completely honest. This is just literally me just rubbing off with my thumb. It's in a sleeve so yeah okay so let's have a look at our next card. Okay, so this one's a little bit different. Again, I do like my secret uh, secret rares, and to be honest, Magician's Souls is one of the best looking ones in my opinion, um, and it's one of the reasons why I actually went and sent it off to PSA. So this is from Brothers of Legend. Again, this is another secret rare. I do have a thing for secret rares. I can't lie, and again, yeah, this just looks absolutely beautiful. So let's go ahead and check the corners again top left top right bottom left bottom right um again you can't really tell with the edges and stuff because obviously they're stuck in between like these little things here i forgot what they're called um but yeah it's all essentially just boxed in um to keep it from kind of moving if that makes sense but anyway Magician Souls, here we go, Brothers of Legend, and we get a Achievement 10, when does the streak end? Jesus. Okay, again, this isn't exactly another card that you could get for a lot of money, but again, I just like the look of the card, if I'm completely honest. I'm not going to lie, but yeah, Achievement 10, nice. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so, bottom right, bottom left, top right, okay, this is definitely the most cleanest one we have so far, uh, for corners, for sure, this could be another Brothers of Legend, it might be another Tin of the Fairy Gods, I'm not too sure, but either way, surfacing, not too bad, centering, not too bad either, okay, let's turn this puppy around. Hey, here we go. Okay, so we have a secret rare, not to be mistaken with a starlight. I would have loved that version, but here we are. Uh, but we have a red eyes dark dragoon from Tin of the Fairy Gods. Um, let's check these corners again. Top left, top right, bottom uh, right, bottom left. Centering, honestly, looking pretty clean. Um, yeah, again, to be honest, I actually kind of did this mainly because it's a red eyes card. I love red eyes. Um, I love anything dragon decks that are quite popular in the sense of the series. So red eyes from the original series, um, cyber dragons from um, GX, and then Stardust Dragon, for example, from 5Ds. Um, I haven't really gone past uh, 5Ds for like series of like watching Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, but yeah, this is just one card. I love the, the the look of this. It's brilliant. So what do we get? Again, Renai's Dark, Dragoon, Tin of the Fairy Gods. And we get a... A Gemin 10. Oh, wow. This is crazy. Wow. Crazy. Okay, another 10. All right. Let's see if the streak continues. Okay, so, bottom right, bottom left, top right, top left, centering, honestly, kind of can't complain, if I'm honest here, okay, surfacing, you can't really tell, again, it's in the, um, the little sleeve, so let's get turn this around. Oh, okay, so we have a Triple Tactics Thrust Secret Rare. Again, um, I actually graded this one. I wanted to get this one graded, actually, because it actually has or holds some value. So since uh, Fate on Hypernova came out, which is the set this came out, um, it's been holding between $60 to $80 um, on a certain app that I use, I think it's like called Yu-Gi-Oh, 
collector or something stuff like that on my phone and this has been holding between 60 and 80 dollars since i've had the app um and since i've had this card so i think this came out earlier this year about february time somewhere around that region maybe january something stuff like that and yeah it's been holding its value for quite some time and honestly to get a 10 on this would be quite mad because this car goes for about $500, I believe. So, let's have a look here. Again, Triple Tactics Thrust, Secret Rare First Edition, Face and Hypernova, and we got a... Oh, Gemini 9, okay, so we have our first 9. That's kind of crazy, so let's have a look, let's see what did it. Wow, this is one of the big bangers as well. I'll take it though. A nine isn't so bad. I just don't know what actually did it, to be honest. Maybe it might be the whitening down here, perhaps. There is quite a bit of whitening around the edges, actually. That might have done it. Um, yeah, centering, honestly. Not so bad. It might be pushed to the right a little bit, but not so much. Um, name's looking pretty good. Yeah, I actually don't know what's wrong with this one, to be honest. It might be surfacing on the back, like a little bit of scuffing, maybe, or something. I'm not too sure. It might be scuffing. I can't really tell. But either way, that's our first nine, which isn't too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, so if I had to guess, we've got to start the 25th uh, anniversary collection soon. Uh, well, 25th legendary collection soon. But you never know. So, bottom right. Bottom left. Top right, something going off up there. Top left, not as bad, to be fairly honest. Centering. Honestly, not bad at all. Surfacing, though. Again, all these cards that I've pretty much got to pack fresh, so yeah, hopefully should be a good grade. But anyway, okay, let's go turn this one around. Oh, okay, okay. So we have a Necro Valley Magnificent Mavens Ultra Fair is rare now. Um. I gotta say, honestly, this is one of my most valuable cards that I possess um, and that I have sent off to be graded. Um, I mainly did this kind of for nostalgia reasons, if I'm completely honest. Um, I never really used Necro Valley, but over the years I've realised that Necro Valley is actually a really, really good card, um, especially back in the day when it was used. Uh, I say back in the day, like it was 20 years ago. But... Um, then again, I mean, probably not far off, depending on what series it is. I think Necro Valley is the first series, right? I could be wrong, it might be GX, but um, yeah. So we've got First Dead, Necro Valley, Magnificent Mavens, Magnificent Mavens, not Mavens, um, Ultra Fair is rare. Uh, let's have a look at the corners again. Top left doesn't look too good. Top right, not bad. Bottom left, bottom right, eh. not so sharp down here, but it's, it's okay. And let's see what we get here. Necro Valley, Ultra Fair is rare. Yes, okay, we got an Ultra Fair is rare. Gem Mint 10, Necro Valley, nice. This is one I was hoping to become a 10, just because it is quite valuable. Um, alone this card is something in the region of about 100 and, between 140 160 raw as is so I can't imagine what the price would be for a gem mint 10 um, but yeah okay so another gem mint 10 I will take that for sure alright sorry about that um, just people in the house doing what they're going to do 
But um, yeah, as you can see, we have now started off with um, the 25th Legendary Collection. Now, I'm not sure whether this will be a, a quarter century rare or, or quarter century secret rare, or it could be just like an ultra rare from... Uh, but these will be the promos, by the way. So they're not got too much value to them. Again, this is for nostalgia reasons. So bottom right. But honestly, not the cleanest. Bottom left, definitely cleaner. Top right, not so good. Top left, not so bad. So left side seems to be good, but not right side. Okay, so obviously we have an obelisk here. Um, surfacing, again, can't really tell because it's under the sleeve. But here we go, okay. Obelisk the Tormentor. Okay, so again... Yes, here we go. So we have Obelisk the Tormentor Quarter Century Secret Rare from the 25th um, Anniversary Legendary Collection. Honestly, it is quite difficult to tell because it is just so shiny. Um, it's actually really ridiculous to try and even predict a score on this, but... Centering doesn't look too bad, if I'm completely honest. Um, yeah, I think it's just those corners that might let it down. I think it's like the bottom right and top right corners. Um, but otherwise, not looking so bad. Okay, so again, Obelisk the Tormentor, Quarter Century Secret Rare from 25th Legendary Collection. And we get a... Ooh, a Mint 9. Okay, I'll take that. It's not so bad of a grade. Um, I had quite a few of these uh, since I opened about probably, um, I would say about two cases worth of Legendary Collection, uh, 25th one at least, um, so yeah, but I'll take that, I know it's not so bad. These are mainly for nostalgia reasons for sure. Okay, so next we have a slide for the Sky Dragon. Um, Okay, bottom right, not so bad. Cleaner on the left here. Top right. Top left, okay. Centering. Honestly, probably could be better, but it actually doesn't look too bad. Um, edges, you can't really tell a lot, to be fair. But let's go ahead and turn this around and... See what we've got here. It's probably another uh, quarter century rare here, so. Okay, there we go. Okay, so if I had to choose between any of the Egyptian God cards to uh, get a Gem Mint 10 or something daft like that from the quarter century secret rares, it would be Sly for the Sky Dragon, as he is my favourite Egyptian God card. So, bottom right. Bottom left. Top left, looks like there's maybe something going up there. Top right, centering, honestly not so bad. These cars look absolutely amazing. But yeah, again, uh, Slife of the Sky Dragon, quarter century secret rare from the 25th Legendary Collection. And we got a... Yes, okay, I will take that for sure. We have a Slife of the Sky Dragon, Gem Mint 10. Quarter Century Secret Rare from uh, 25th, leg uh, 25th Legendary Collection. What an absolute beast, man. Okay, so two nines and God knows how many tens. I'm not even going to try counting. <laughs> but yeah, let's just keep going. Okay, all right. Bottom right, honestly not bad. Bottom left. Not so bad, a little bit of edging going around there at the top right, and something, just a tiny bit of edging on the left there as well. Um, not so much the corner though, it's kind of like the left side of the card. Um, again, I think all these cards from now are going to come from like the 25th Legendary Collection, um, so I'm presuming this is going to be another 25th um, Secret Rare or something like that. This could be Dark Magician, it could be Red Eyes, it could be Blue Eyes, it could be... I think that's left out of the uh, out of the promos wise. These are uh, the last ones. So 
and these could also literally be the ultra rare versions as well uh, the promos so let's go ahead and turn this around okay so we have a blue eyes white dragon quarter century secret rare from the legend uh, from their 25th legendary collection um top left honestly i'm not too sure top right looking pretty clean bottom right not so bad left actually looking really good um centering wise honestly pretty clean it would be it would be awesome to get a blue eyes in a gem in 10 um just because it's, it's blue eyes if i'm completely honest but um yeah i think the centering's quite on par to be fairly honest and yeah you can never really tell with um surfacing on quarter century rare secrets so yeah let's go ahead and we get a oh we've got a mint nine okay i will take that it's always the bigger names that tend to get me nines apparently but that is not bad again these cards aren't really worth too much right now maybe in the future for sure but um i think blue eyes is maybe going for about I don't know, I, mean, I actually haven't actually checked Blue Eyes in a little while, if I'm completely honest. Um, but yeah, I, I would probably say about... Maybe about... It's kind of between like $1 and like $10, something around that region, but that's just raw. Created, I ain't got a clue. Again, all these prices and stuff will be coming up in the video, so on to the next one. So I'm going to presume this is either Red Eyes... Or it could possibly be Dark Magician. Again, I feel like these are the quarter century secret rares that we're doing here. The promos. Um, but yeah, top right looking pretty clean. Top left definitely looking a lot more clean. Bottom right. Bottom left. Not so bad. Um, surfacing, again, it's in a sleeve so you can't tell too much. I would take them out, but I'd rather them stay in to you know keep the uh, cases actually scratch not resistant i guess but it helps keep scratches away from it i guess but um yeah little dings in the sleeves i guess let's go turn this around Ooh, hold on a second there we go okay nice okay again like it says we have a dark magician um quarter century secret rare from the 25th legendary collection honestly i feel like the centering is actually a little bit more uh onto the left here than it is the right um but it's not looking too bad we got bottom right not looking too bad bottom left not so bad top left top right will this be our first uh sort of big name that isn't an egyptian guard 10. let's have a look dark magician quarter century rare quarter century secret rare sorry now we getting yes i've got a gem mint 10 nice okay i will take that i mean it, i should have a red eyes in there as well so maybe we might get a 10 there as well but we shall see okay another gem mint 10 i will take that indeed okay so i'm presuming this might be the red eyes next if i'm completely honest um something definitely going up here in the top right straight off the bat um bottom right bottom left not looking too bad top left it might let me off with this little ding on the right here in the corner but who knows um again surfacing can't really tell because it's in a um in a sleeve um but yeah i don't think to be fair centering looks too bad so let's go ahead and turn this around yes here we go okay so i'm gonna guess at this point a gem uh a, a nine to be fairly honest but we shall see looks the centering is not brilliant it definitely looks more bottom side than it does top 
Um, but yeah, we do have a Red Eyes, Black Dragon, a Quarter Sentry, Secret Rare from the 25th Legendary Collection, and we got a... Yeah, we got a 9. I'll take that. I will take that. It's not so bad of a, um, a grade. Um, but it's a mint 9, at least. So, I'll take that for sure. Okay, so... I do believe from now, um, oh by the way, the only thing that I didn't actually really get um, in the cases from like the legendary, uh, well the 25th legendary collection was Wind Dragon Aurora. It was the only one I didn't get and I opened two cases and there was no um, quarter century secret rare Wind Dragon Aurora. So that's why you haven't seen it here today. So yeah, like two cases, and I would probably say like two or three boxes, and yeah, no raw. So okay, so bottom right looking clean. Bottom left again clean. Top right, uh, maybe a little bit of something going off down on there. Top left not looking so bad. Surfacing pretty clean. Let's go turn it around. Again, these might be the promos, but not the quarter century secret rare ones. So we could probably start off maybe with blue eyes or something. Let's go. Ooh, okay. Okay. Now this one, honestly, give me a PSA 10 and I will be so happy. This is the one I want to come back at 10 the most out of all of the um, cards you've seen today. Especially from the... Um, 25th legendary collection this this give me a 10 please oh my god okay so bottom right honestly not bad bottom left not so bad maybe a slight little thing going up here on the top right and and honestly clean in the top left centering honestly not bad I think it's more to the right there, if I'm completely honest. Okay, so we have Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End. Um, and we got this from, uh, it would have been Invasion of Chaos. So, let's see what we can do. Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm so happy with this. Let's go, 25th anniversary. Oh my god. Let's go. Nice pull. This was one of my favourite pulls in the video. I actually haven't uploaded it yet, which is kind of um, a bummer, if I'm completely honest. But, yeah. Might upload it eventually. Might even do it before these or something. But, yeah. This is the one card that I wanted to 10. Um, out of the majority of the cards that we've done today. Um, but, yeah. Again, nostalgia reasons. Chaos Emperor Dragon, and by the end. Very nice indeed. Okay, so I'm not sure if we've actually got any 25th Legendary Collections left, if I'm honest, apart from the ultra rare promos, like Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, and um, Dark Magician. So this might be them, I'm not too sure. But bottom right, not so bad. Bottom left, not so bad. Top right, not so bad. Honestly, probably one of the cleanest cars we've seen yet for corners. Servicing again is in a little sleeve, so yeah. Um, honestly, not looking so bad for centering either. Let's go ahead and flip this around. Oh, okay, so we have a Serpent Knight. Um, I wasn't too bothered if this got a 10, if I'm completely honest, but I'll take it if we do get one. Um, but centering seems to be off, not off per se, but seems to be more shifted to the left here. If anything, um, but yeah, this is from Spell Ruler 25th uh, Legendary Collection. Um, again, I do like my secret rares, so would have been probably the reason why I sent this one off. But it's looking pretty clean anyway. And Serpent Knight Dragon, and we got a yes, okay, I'll take that. Gem Mint 10, not bad at all. I'm doing good for 25th. Um, Legendary collection, that's for sure. That's another 10. Nice. Okay. 
surely these are the promos now. Um, I couldn't tell you if I'm completely, completely honest. It might be more 25th Legendary Collection. But, um, okay. So, bottom right, bottom left, top right, top left. A little bit of something going on the top right. Um, there's a lot of whitening on, on this side as well. But um, surfacing doesn't look too bad, but centering wise, looking pretty clean. So let's go ahead and flip this around. Oh, okay. So we've got some more magnificent mavens here. So we have a triple tactics talent. And yeah, I would say centering looks pretty decent. Um, corners looking pretty good. Again. Um, I kind of, I, I guess I kind of do grade popular cards, I guess. Um, but these are the reprints, so it's nothing like uh, an original. But, um, but yeah, it's not even a card that I actually use in like Master Duel, for example. But again, it's a reprint, and it's quite a popular card. Um, so yeah, Triple Tactics Talent from Magnificent Mavens, first ed, and we get a... Yes, Gem Mint 10, oh my god. That is wild. Okay. So, I do believe I sent off in Infinite Impermanence and maybe a Lightning Storm in these and Ultra Rares, uh, Magnificent Mavens. Uh, not a Ultra Fairies Rare, just regular um, Ultra Rares. But yeah, okay. So, I'm guessing it might be Infinite Impermanence or maybe a Lightning Storm. Something on the line to that. But bottom right, looking pretty good. Bottom left. Uh, top right and top left again not looking so bad centering wise looking pretty clean okay so go ahead and turn this around there we go I thought as much okay so we have a magnificent mavens uh, lightning storm um, Ultra rare again. This isn't an ultra fair or anything like that. It's literally just the ultra rares. Um, but yeah, corners looking pretty clean. I'd say it's a bit more shifted to the left for centering, but honestly, not so bad. Right, lightning storm, magnificent mavens. Let's go. First dead. Oh, we got a nine. Okay, I'll take that. It might have been the centering, I presume. Um, yeah, it's either that or it's like maybe scuffing or something stuff like that. You can never really tell in these um, sleeves. But yeah, it's not so bad. I'll take that. It's a nine at least anyway. Okay, so presuming this might be um, infinite and permanence, I guess, if I had to guess. Um, so bottom right looking pretty clean, bottom left, top right, top left, not sure if that, it might be under the sleeve all this, uh, yeah, because that's just coming off, that might just be under the sleeve there, uh, but surfacing, oh, we might have a bit of scuff in there, perhaps, I'm not too sure, that might be the sleeve again, um, but centering looks not so bad, again, I'm Presuming infinite and permanence. Let's go ahead and turn this around. Yeah, thought as much. Okay, so again, infinite and permanence, magnificent mavens. Um, I would say, yeah, again, it's kind of shifted to the left, if I'm completely honest. So we might get another uh, another nine or a gem mint nine, I'm not too sure. But honestly, corners and edges and stuff don't look so bad. Um, might let me off with this top right here. Um, but the rest looking pretty clean. Right, if uh, infinite impermanence, magnificent mavens, and we get a yes. Okay, I'll take that. Gem mid ten, nice. That is a beauty. Okay, so now this card, honestly. I wish it got a gem mint 10 because this would have been the most valuable card I've ever even looked at in person. Um, I go down to my local store, 
quite a bit to buy some cards. I haven't in the last few sort of like um, weeks just because, well I should say a couple of months actually, just because I've been paying a loan off. Um, and yeah, of course with a loan, if you've got something in your way uh, that you've got to pay off, you, you pay that first and you get back to whatever you can, um, what you enjoy doing afterwards. So yeah, but bottom right corner, not so bad. I know what this card is, um, you'll see in a moment. Bottom left, got something going off down there. Top right and top left, there's definitely some corner and edges going off around that region. Um, there's something going off with the bottom, well, with the left side here, and there's quite a lot of whitening. Um, but yeah, this I got for literally nostalgia reasons, and it's just such a beautiful card. Um, but yeah, here we go. So, here's my most valuable card, Raw. So, just take that to note. Okay, so, we do have a Dark Magician, Ghost Rare, um, and honestly, it just looks absolutely stunning, depending on like the angle that you look at it. But um, yeah, you can see here there's a lot of print lines, um, and that's what's done most of the damage. Um, but if you look, bottom left, bottom right, top left, top right, honestly, not so bad. Um, my brother told me I got above a 7, so I'm going to say an 8, if I'm completely honest. Um, but yeah, this this would have been a mad, mad um, card to get a, mint, a, mint, a, a gem mint 10. Um, but yeah, I, th I think it's like an 8. I'd say push at a 9, but definitely not a 10. Alright, so. Goes from the past, Dark Magician, Ghost Rare, first, ed uh, first edition. How we get a... Ah, oh, we got an 8, okay, near mint to mint, 8, I will take that, I will take that, to be fairly honest, again, this just had to be done, um, it's a Dark Magician, and yeah, it's the best looking card I have in my possession, if I'm completely honest, but um, yeah, so our first 8, but there we have it, so we've got 1 8, we have presumably about probably about five or six, I would reckon, of nines. So one, two, three, four, probably about five. So that's six. And then we have 14 gem tens, which, oh my God, I did not expect that at all. I was expecting to get a lot more nines and a lot more eights, if I'm completely honest. But there we have it um i hope you guys enjoyed the video um let let me know what you think of like what cards i definitely should not got a gem mint 10 um and tell me your favorite card you saw here today um and also tell me i don't know say what card have you sent off to get psa graded and predict your grade for me um, if you haven't got it back just yet. Um, and yeah, just don't forget to like, comment, as well as subscribe to the channel for more PSA return videos. Um, there should be another one coming up, probably in the next two months, maybe just slightly over. Um, but yeah, this has been my first PSA return, and honestly, this is not let me down whatsoever i'm so glad i did this but yeah sorry for the interruptions and stuff uh family will do what they will um but yeah i will see you guys in the next one see you soon peace